Yes, and now the wackiness is going to continue, even with Wade Keller joining the program at this at this stage. Um, and the <laughs> they take more phone calls, including one from the president of Hulk Hogan Vitamins, who talks about the alleged, which we just touched on before, an alleged Ric Flair Nasty Boys incident at the China Club. Do you remember this happening? Uh, I do remember uh, that there was a skirmish at the China Club that Flair was involved with and, uh, you know, it was a hot story for a few days and then it kind of went away. Yep, I had I got the feeling that was just about. But uh, this is pretty funny as uh, Wade Keller joins the fray. Wade Keller from the Pro Wrestling Torch. Wade, are you there? Sure am. And you're here with Jim Cornette and Sonny Beach and Juice and Duck. to be on with Jim. Say what? You didn't tell me I had to be on with Jim. Well, we wanted to save it as a surprise, Boy Wonder. <laughs> That's our Christmas gift to you, Wade. Well, Wade, do you have a question for Jushin Thunder Liger? In the He's studio? here in the studio with us. Yeah, I, um, I'd like to know what his, what his favorite brand of chocolate chip cookies are. Chips Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> he said Chips Ahoy. Yeah, I, I, I got Japanese that. for Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. <laughs> That's, that's all I've got. Pretty funny. Well, let's go back on the lines right now. We're going to go Vernon from Fresh Meadows. Hi, John. Yes. Listen, um, I just have a question for you, and I want to say hello to Jim. Go right ahead. Uh, why is most of the wrestling promotions in Japan? You know, you don't hear too much about the other countries. Uh, you know, mostly Japan. I'm just, I've always been curious about that. Repeat the question. Okay. Why are most of the wrestling promotions are in Japan? And you rather hear you never hear about other countries like England, France, you know, Germany. Well, there's not very much uh, the, in England. I know there are some independent promoters that run in Germany as well, uh, but Japan is the hotbed of pro wrestling. Uh -huh. uh, they have the top talent there. Uh, it's well respected in uh -huh. Japan. It's treated as a as a major sport uh -huh. uh, there. Sonny, you can uh, you know tell tell uh, tell Vernon what uh, what went down when you were in Japan. You know how do they. Respect wrestling there. Over there, the, the buildings are sold out like the first or second day when they put tickets on. It's like an honor to go to these matches, the events. Uh, the fans treat everybody like royalty over there. Um, oh, I see. It's, it's not like in the States where, you know, you got to... Like with the promoters, too, you know they're very honorable over there and they're not going to stip you for any money or back oh. you out on any dates and stuff like that. So it's a pleasure to work over there. And oh. I had a great time. Oh, that's good. Okay, I was always curious about that. Can I say hello to Jim? Yes, you can. You already have. Hey, Jim, listen. I'm the guy. I saw you at an August uh, at the R Ramada. I'm the guy from Kentucky. You remember me? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, I just called to say hello. You're a great guy, a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed uh, talking to you. Well, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for your call, Vernon. Right Bye-bye. Okay, 955-1240. Let's go to Gary from Staten Island. How you doing, Johnny? Gary, Gary Moison. Yes, sir. How you doing, Gary? Back, back home from the holidays from Las Vegas, Nevada, my hometown. Now, <laughs> listen, uh, before I get to Jimmy, I wanted to mention that uh, your good friend Herb Abrams, along with Bruno, uh, John Tolis, and uh, were shooting a commercial. I would, and uh, Bruno and, and Lou Albano were shooting a commercial this week in Las Vegas. I don't know what they were doing there. And you can bet they probably stopped in the casinos, and Herb, he probably got some IOUs while he was there, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, Jimmy. Yes. Can you hear me, my man? Yes, I can. I'm uh, going to send my regards from a guy you know in uh, Vegas, Rick Carter. Yes, hey, I, I talked to him just this past week. Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, listen, wanted to mention, uh, will myself and uh, Lillian Allison be seeing you uh, in June for the LPWA convention? I mean, the LIWA convention. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute, they threw a new one in on me. Uh, yeah, next June, you mean? Obviously, you don't mean last June. Uh, if, if I can make it, hey, I'll go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Listen, you mentioned about uh, Wendy Richter getting back into LPWA. Right. I know Wendy, uh, what she does when she's not working is she uh, works at a, a real estate office down in Crystal River, Florida, and I guess uh, she hasn't been selling too much property since she got back on the... Uh, on the wrestling awards, what do you think she'll do in LPWA? Think she'll wrestle full time, and uh, how successful do you think she'll be? Well, you know, I'm I'm sure that she can uh, juggle both careers because right now the LPWA is just doing television. A lot of the girls, you know, take tours to uh, to Japan, and I know that uh, Lady X and some of the other girls are going to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, it's basically it's a thing where you can uh, wrestle as often or as little as you want. And uh, so I think she could probably do uh, do both successfully, and I think she's going to do great in the LPWA because uh, she's one of the better uh, women wrestlers in the world right now. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as you know, will uh, Judy Martin and Patty Schroeder be back? 
Um, who? <laughs> Leilani Kai. Leilani Kai? And Judy um, Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they are the uh, LPWA Tag Team Champions. Okay. Okay, listen, Gary, we've got to run. Take some more calls. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your call. 955-1240 is your number to call here. We're here with uh, Jim Cornette via Charlotte, North Carolina, Sunny Beach via Japan, and Wade Keller via Snowland, Minnesota. You know, I feel like I'm on one of these 976 gab numbers with all these people on the phone. It's a party line. Wade, are you there? Sure am. Okay. Uh, Wade, how does it feel to hang on the phone and not speak? Um, that's what I thought. <laughs> We're going to get, we got a call coming in, Barry Ross, the president of Hulk Hogan Vitamins on the line. What? Yes, Barry Ross, president of Hulk Hogan Vitamins. Barry, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, John. How are you today, sir? Okay, I'm very well. I was just driving in the car, uh, going out to get a bite to eat, when I heard you talking about the fight at the China Club. Were you there? I certainly was. I was sitting at the table. Well, Ooh. let's, let's, uh, let's, let's what, what can you tell us about it? I just it? want to clear up one thing. It was in the VIP room. It was not in the main room. Okay. And it just got a little bit out of hand. Ric Flair was uh, a little bit obnoxious, and uh, words were exchanged. And now, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, Paulie, are you there? That's wait Jim Cornette. Oh, Jim? This guy, okay. wait a minute. He just called you Paul E. Uh, oh, I, I thought God. it was Paulie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank God I'm not next to him in traffic. Wait a minute, this guy is the president of Hulk Hogan Vitamins. He's against Ric Flair. He said Ric Flair was obnoxious against the Nasty Boys. No, Come let's, on, that's like, let, let's put it this way. I, I, I happened to be at the table with everybody, and we were sitting and having a couple of beers, and I'm an impartial observer in this, uh, other than the fact that I got an elbow in the chest. Uh, uh, Ric Flair uh, had been sitting at another table. He had sent over a bottle of champagne to our table, we acknowledged it. As he was leaving, he came over and exchanged some words with one of the nasty boys, and things got a little bit out of hand. I happened to be um, uh, with Hulk Hogan the whole night. We had dinner at Planet Hollywood, and then we went to the China Club. Now, what was the bone of contention between Flair and the nasty boys? Uh, it seemed that there had been uh, words had been exchanged earlier in the evening between one of the nasty boys and the chauffeur that had driven Ric Flair around. And Ric Flair had risen to the defense of the show for uh -huh. the Nasty Boys. Uh-huh. I rest my case. So um, uh, it just got a little bit out of hand. There was a pushing and shoving, um, and then words were exchanged. And uh, it, I can assure you that uh, the, I, I went over and I uh, settled it with the uh, owners of the uh, China Club, and uh, everybody was peaceful, and, uh, and we are uh, most welcome guests at the China Club. Okay, we appreciate you clearing that up, Barry, but uh, does anybody get the better of the brawl? Did uh, the Nature Boy uh, uh, slap on the figure four on anybody? Or? Well, what happened, Nature Boy took, I think, uh, took a couple of shots in the face, but, uh, other, I mean, there were, there were bouncers and, uh, and things in between, and as I said, it, it erupted uh, where I was standing, and I got an elbow in the chest. Uh, did I you take a I haven't been a while, John. I've been in the hospital. I had uh, uh, two major surgeries, 15 inches of my large intestine removed. Whoa. So How I had... Uh, for the last three months, I, I get very, came, came very close to dying, so I haven't been around the scene too much. But I came back, and uh, it was my birthday, and the Hulk took me out for my birthday. And then afterwards, we met up at the China Club with everybody else. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I said, it was, uh, words were exchanged. Ric Flair uh, was asked kindly to leave, which he did. And uh, things settled down at that point, and uh, we, we straightened it out. And as I said, we're most welcome guests back there. Well, we appreciate you clearing that up, Aaron. We hope you're feeling okay. I'm feeling fine. I lost 60 pounds in the process. Wow. So uh, I'm, I'm back. And, well, it looks uh, like you have to get on the Hulk Hogan vitamins then. I am. I've been popping them every day, and that's how you that and three hours a day in the gym. All righty. Okay, you be good, and uh, I look forward to hopefully you seeing you soon, John. Okay, thanks, Barry. Take care. Bye. Okay, 955-1240 is the number to call. You John, here to... John, John. I like that. We get the information hot off the press here at the spotlight. Right the horse's mouth. Do you see, though, if I had not come to the defense, if I had not questioned, when he said Ric Flair was obnoxious, but later it turns out he was coming to the defense of his poor little 122-pound chauffeur that had been, had been bullied by the Nasty Boys, the defense rests. I brought out the real story. Isn't downtown Bruno acting as a chauffeur for Flair? Uh, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, he went right from Lawler right straight to Flair. Yeah.